There's a Thai restaurant in Burbank, Illinois, called Spicy Thai Lao, and we've been going there on and off since not long after they opened nine or ten years ago. It's a bit of a haul for us, though not nearly as far as some of our other favorite Thai restaurants on the north side. But we've made it there for special occasion meals with some regularity. Birthdays, graduations, raises, etc. A standout dish for us early on was their Thai beef jerky. Marinated strips of beef fried to a crispy, chewy texture that resemble western jerky, while not being quite that desiccated. It was served with a dipping sauce that hit all the cardinal points of the Southeast Asian culinary map. Sweet and sour, salty and spicy along with some pickled vegetables on the side, and a garnish of julienne carrots that I'm sure were meant for decoration only, but my kids called them carrot noodles and ate them anyway. One time, and I literally mean one time, the pickled vegetable that came with the jerky was a zucchini kimchi that they were experimenting with. I never saw them serve that again, but I've been thinking about it ever since, and made my own first experimental batch nine years ago this month. I've been growing zucchini in my garden this year, almost entirely so I could make it again. I have two plants, and most of the zooks have been golden in color, though I've had a few that come out the usual green. I've already done a few batches of kimchi with them, and they've been great, sour and spicy and aromatic. So I've been thinking of ways to use this zucchini kimchi in a sandwich. Bulgogi has come to mind. Spam and eggs. Spicy chicken and cheese. But eventually, I decided to simply recreate that original plate in sandwich form. Zucchini kimchi, sliced a bit thinner than the thick planks I remember, simply to make them sit flatter in a sandwich. Marinated steak, which I would grill to a steak just a touch juicier than jerky. That delightful sauce that came with the jerky, sweet and sour from tamarind syrup and lime, salty and spicy from fish sauce and Thai chilies, bright and pungent from cilantro and shallots. And yes, even the carrot noodles, which I gave a little quick pickle banh mi style. All that went into a D'Amato's baguette with a little QP mayo. Guess what, guys? It's good. 